Hi there, and welcome to Cat Scratch Kitchen. I love to share with you easy and tasty recipes that you can make at home. You know those handy little packets of seasoning mixes that are so easy to grab in the grocery? Do you know that you can easily make them yourself and not have to worry about the additives and preservatives? Today I'm going to show you how to make a copycat of one of those, McCormick's Chili Seasoning. This is a blend of spices that adds great flavor and heat to your chili. You can make it with ingredients that you probably already have in your spice rack, and it's much cheaper and healthier than buying that packet in the store. Plus, you can customize it to your taste and preference. Are you ready to have some fun in the kitchen? Well, grab your apron and let's get started. Okay, for our chili seasoning, just need a few ingredients. We need a quarter of a cup of chili powder. We need a, tea, a tablespoon, I'm sorry, of paprika. We need a tablespoon of cumin. We need two teaspoons of onion powder. A teaspoon of garlic powder. A teaspoon of cayenne. Now, if you like hotter chili, you can always add more cayenne. Four teaspoons of salt. and we need two teaspoons of ground black pepper. Now we just need to mix it all together. When mixed, two tablespoons of this is the perfect seasoning for your chili. Now in, at the end of the recipe, I'll give you some measurements and some ingredients for a typical chili, one that I would use using this spice mix. And then you can just store it in a little jar or a Ziploc bag. Anytime you're ready for a nice, comforting bowl of chili, you'll have your seasonings all set to go. And you can keep your seasoning for up to six months. I hope you enjoyed making your own copycat of McCormick's chili seasoning. You can store it in an airtight container for up to six months and use it whenever you want to make a delicious and spicy chili. You can also use it to season other dishes such as tacos, nachos, or soups. It's a versatile and handy mix to have in your kitchen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great recipes and copycats. As always, the recipe is just below the like button, as well as the link so that you can print it out. Thanks so much for watching, and until next week, have fun in the kitchen.